Hi everyone. So Tucker Carlson did a an interview with a, a former uh, deputy assistant director of the FBI, I think his title was. Um, and this has been doing the rounds on social media and people are aghast at what this FBI director said. And I want to sh shine a light on it um, for a couple of reasons. First of all, the cable media in America is obviously awful. I have done a rundown of the cable, what I believe were the best cable news stations in America of all the, the top ones. And Fox came above CNN and MSNBC. It was quite some way above them, to be quite honest. And my reasoning was occasionally on Fox, you get the truth. And occasionally on Fox, they'll invite on progressives, you know? They'll invite on Glenn Greenwald. They'll invite on Carl Kalinske. They'll invite on progressives and get a progressive point of view. Um, CNN, MSNBC, MSNBC, the, the supposed left or the leftist of them all on cable news, they won't touch a progressive with a 10 foot barge pole. Um, and if they are, they're bringing them on like Susan Sarandon and blaming the whole 2016 loss to Donald Trump on her. But. Tucker Carlson is one of the better uh, news reporters in America. He's horrible. I absolutely, totally disagree with 90% of what he says and what his ideology is. But occasionally, you get little snippets of truth, as, as people have shown in the past. But I want to come to this, because Matt Taibbi is how I found out about it, because he tweeted this out. And I just want to quickly take, uh, um, show you this. Because it really is enlightening what this guy says. Take a listen. When you take uh, the election and you take the House and you uh, now convert all the committees that you have to investigating various aspects of the president of the United States, then uh, your lifeblood has to be to react to stories. So you're going to see more stories planted so that all these committees can have uh, right. uh, a lot of work to do. And I, I think this is just... And just stop it there. So he said there, they're talking about this story, this story from BuzzFeed. Now, this is the latest Russiagate gotcha, the latest bombshell, the latest smoking gun. Apparently, Donald Trump, they say in this story, directed Michael Cohen to lie, which obviously meant the Senate Intelligence Committee went, hold on a minute, if he's done that, then we need to start impeachment reading, uh, proceedings, to which... Bob Mueller said, hold on a minute, that's not the case, and had to come out and make the unprecedented step, take the unprecedented step of actually issuing a statement saying that this is not entirely true. And we should get that we shouldn't put too much weight behind it, because first of all, there are two writers there, Jason Leopold and Anthony Cormier, and even they can't agree on actually what was said and what the... Um, feeling around what was said between Cohen and Trump was. This is one of those stories that just was a big gotcha, and within 24 hours, everybody went, Ugh. like has happened a million times before with Russiagate. Honestly, it's got to be... It's, I, I saw something a couple of days ago. There have been over 50, over 50 stories since this Russiagate stuff came up two years ago that have been debunked as false, over 50, and they're all one way. They're all, hey, Russia's the bad guy, Trump colluded with Russia. They're all that way. They're all lies going that way. They're never falsehood saying, oh, Trump's innocent. They're all saying Trump's guilty. Putin, Russia, Trump, WikiLeaks, hack, DNC. Constantly, it's a barrage. And I'm going to play that for you again because there's a word there that I picked up on that he said that I want you to within the first 20 seconds. Just listen to the word he said. When you take uh, the election and you take the House and you uh, now convert all the committees that you have to investigating various aspects of the president of the United States, then uh, your lifeblood has to be to react to stories. So you're going to see more stories planted so that... Did you hear it? More stories planted, he said. He said that he thinks that's a plant. You know what? 
I agree with him. I'll come back to that at the end. Let me just play the rest of this uh, segment. There's only about 30 seconds left. All of these committees can have uh, right. uh, a lot of work to do. And I, I think this is just more of the same. And I think we can expect more of this because, um, quite honestly, uh, the electorate in some places is putting more and more progressives and self-described socialist in positions. And uh, ironically, uh, years ago when I first got into the FBI, one of the missions of the FBI in its counterintelligence efforts was to try and keep these people out of government. Why? Because we would end up with massive dysfunction and massive disinformation and massive misinformation. And it seems to me that's where we're at today. Wow. Let me just quickly show you. Watch, watch Tucker Carlson's face when he says that this story is planted. Watch his face. You ready? Uh, a lot of work to do. And I, I think this is just more of the same. And I think we can expect more of this because um, so planted quite before honest, we start just smirking. More of, a lot of work to do. And I, I committees can have uh, right. uh, a lot of work to do. And I, I think this is just more of the same. And I think we can expect more of this so because, um, quite honestly, uh, the electorate in some places. I think Tucker knows that this story has been planted. But that's the former deputy assistant director to the FBI saying this story was planted and we're going to see more of the same because at the moment they've got the house and they're obviously trying to um, do certain things and they're going to have this story planted in the media to stop progressives getting into power and he's saying well that's what we used to do this is a planted story we used to stop progressives getting into power getting into office and they are at the moment so that's what this guy is saying and that's why Tucker Carlson is smirking his ass off because you won't you, you shouldn't really be hearing this on cable news and which leads me to this because if this is a plant is this from the same people and from the same sort of establishment and the same people that are, were behind this one about Manafort holding secret talks with Assange in the Ecuadorian embassy because what I've discovered over the last couple of days, if you watch my video I did yesterday or the day before, it looks like that this was planted by the agencies for them to then use it, the story that, was, that they planted, as the excuse to go and interrogate Ecuador ministers, people over in the Ecuadorian embassy over there. So just the same as they're alleging at the moment some people with the Russia Gate, that the Russia Gate was all started with Joseph Misud, and it, they're using that, those meetings that they initiated as the precursor to start this Russia Gate in, uh, Russia Gate in investigation. So you can see here they're, they're doing two things that are really quite similar in two different areas. It's all tied together. I wanted to show that because it's very rare that you get so much truth on cable news, especially in America. But again, it's Tucker Carlson that has pointed it out, and that's, I think, the third or fourth instance in the last year of him actually having some truth and talking some truth on his show. Don't get me wrong. The other 98% not worth it, but it's better than the other TV anchors on CNN and MSNBC because 100% of what they do is total and utter crap. More of that. We have more than more of that. I'll be out of a job soon. To support truly honest independent journalism like this, please go to patreon.com forward slash Gordon Dimmock. You can become a patron of mine for as little as a dollar a month and every dollar helps. I cannot stress that enough. We can't do this without you. Also, you can use any of the avenues on your screen right now to donate or below. There are many of them. Please make sure you subscribe. They unsubscribe people every day, so please make sure you are. And click that bell as well so you get a notification of when I drop further videos. Thanks very much for your support. Until next time, peace and take care.